Hi, I'm Steve Vincent. And I'm Stephen Vincent. And welcome to our home workshop. So today we're doing some cycle card upgrades. We're working on a spindle and a rear hub. Uh, the spindles on my cart right now are Sousa spindles, three quarter inch Sousa go-kart spindles. There's a lot of play in them. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And we're gonna replace them with these. These are made by Vintage Cart Co. These are the spacers I built. But, so what this is is a three quarter inch grade eight bolt. It's got bushings. This is a proper size to accept the bushing. With this, what this does is it replaces the Azusa spindle. It's a direct replacement, so this is designed to looking fit exactly. So if you have an Azusa spindle now, you put this on, it solves the wiggle in your front end uh, because it's going to have bushings in it, and it's got a grade eight bolt, so it's going to be super strong. This is a three quarter inch, so this is designed to fit like a retrofit situation. Uh, if you get the vintage Cart Coast standard spindle, it's going to be a five eighths bolt and it's designed to fit their bearings. So if you've got an existing Honda wheel or your own wheel with Azusa spindles, you're going to reuse your own bearings with this. If you get the Vintage Cartco spindle or Vintage Cartco wheels, they have a slightly different diameter. It's going to take a different bearing. So if you're buying wheels from Jack at Vintage Cartco, tell them what you're trying to do. If you're going to use their spindles, it's all set to go with their wheels. But if you use the Azusa spindle and the Honda wheel, this will work. Perfectly. So, um, didn't come with them, so I had to make some little spacers. These are just to keep the bearings, put this here so the bearings don't go against this bolt, so you have to properly rise on there. And the one on the outside also for the outside bearing. Uh, when I built my car originally, I didn't know to do that. I used uh, some big washers, so this will work a lot better and be a little safer. So, I'll show you what the existing spindle looks like and how to play it in it right now. So this is the original Azusa spindle uh, that you get from any, any one of the dozen suppliers that sell these. I think I used came from Northern Tool. Um, so these have a lot of play. So if you shake the wheels, you see how much play there is. Look how much that front end wobbles back and forth. And all that play is happening right in here. So if you look where my finger's at, you'll see the, the play. So go and rack it back and forth a few more times, Stevie. There you go. See, see how much that's going. You don't have to do it so fast. But you can see how much movement is in there. It's because there's no bushing in here. This is just a bolt through this this pipe, basically. And I did put some brass bushings in there, but they only lasted about six months, and they got really loose because they probably decomposed and just got crushed. So this is a direct replacement where we're putting on here. This is going to be the exact same bolt, exact same position. I won't have to do anything with the tie rod. It won't even affect my alignment. Same exact bolt, so the wheel will fit, and the same bushings. So I'm just going to be a unbolt this, bolt the new one on. And we'll see what that looks like. So there's the new one, the new one. compared to the old one. So when we come back on the video, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so I've got the driver's side installed. It's all bolted up. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift the chassis up so you can see how little wiggle there is now. When I shake it, there's a tiny bit of wiggle, but it's just in the bearings. So that is way better than the other side. Which if you come over here, I'll show what the other side looks like. I'm gonna lift the car up a little bit and shake it. How much wiggle that is. Can you see that? Yeah, we can. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now and we can compare. So it's a lot tighter now than it was previously. So that's just a very tiny little bit. That's what we want. And uh, that'll help it go down the road a whole lot better. Okay, so we've got the old spindle off. This is what it looks like. And see there was a, I, I put a bushing in here. These little brass bushings. I cut them down and they're just, they're just wearing out. So there's a little bit of play in them because of the bushings. I put the bolt in there. You can see how much I don't know if you may not be able to see it, but it, it wiggles quite a bit. And the new piece, which is this one, actually if you look at it, it's a tiny bit longer. Like it, the bolts are maybe an inch longer. So yes. that's really needed space. So you put that in there, nice and smooth and tight. Okay, comparison. You can see the Asusa spindle to this one. About, well, okay, so I need to put this right here because that's, that's not quite level. So it's about an inch longer than the Asusa one. So when you put your little spacers on it, like so and like so, you'll put the bolts right where they need to be, just like they are on this one. So this is, this is working out really good. So we'll put the other one on. Oops, sorry. <laughs> put the other one on. All right. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we can road test it. I'm, I'm getting back the uh, rear hubs I had to have machined because they didn't quite fit my Honda wheels. So that's being done to tomorrow. So I'll be able to get that back on. Hopefully by, t by Friday, which is day after tomorrow. Yeah. Because we have a parade and a race on Saturday, so. Fun? Racing's always fun. So it is always. Back in the 
So I'm really happy with the results of this vintage Carco upgrade. Steering is a lot smoother. Um, very little play in the chassis. The front end, I mean, it's just, before I shake it side to side like this, with, just with my hand, and it would walk all over the place. You can see it doesn't move hardly at all. If I shake individual tires, again, only a tiny, 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 tiny bit of play. This is such a huge, huge upgrade from the Isuzu spindle. The Vintage Carco part is really, really well built. And best part, this only took about 15 minutes. I mean, I skipped the point of painting it, but uh, that'll we'll do that later after I finish the rear end. But um, super impressed with this part. It really, really worked well. Uh, it fits perfectly. The geometry, the suspension did not change. Um, this is an exact replica or replacement for the Asusa part. Uh, even even kept the original C clamp or C part part that comes from Asusa was welded onto my axle, so I didn't have to cut anything apart. This is just a couple half inch. Nuts and bolts, I think this is a one inch bolt there. Um, super simple upgrade and well worth the effort. Amazing. So, we'll do a walk around of this cart another day, but this is kind of a little preview of it. Um, right now, I'm upgrading the rear spindles. I'll show you what those look like real quick. They're over here. These are again the cart, like go kart spindles, or hubs rather. You modify them by cutting the bolts. They fit the Honda wheel, but again, they're just not quite. Strong, so they're they're strong enough, but they're not the ideal setup. So we're upgrading to those. So that'll be another video we'll do in the future. So wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. So Stevie like, Joe. See, obviously, see the wheels. Steven and Steve Sr. <laughs> signing off. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. So thanks for watching our video. Uh, if you like our video, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Arizona Cycle Cart Club. And also check out the website, cyclecartclub.com. Pretty great resource for cycle, everything cycle cart. And uh, again, thanks for our buddy Dennis Thomas for everything he's done for the sport. And uh, signing off. Talk to you later.